Hello everyone, in this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about how to perform online analysis of gene expression data in gene expression omnibus. To perform the online analysis of gene expression data, you need to go to the website link that I have provided in the description of this video. Then here, you need to enter the accession number. And then you need to hit on go. You can see that when I did this, I got this window popped up. So you can see here is the summary of the experiment performed. So basically it is expression profiling by array. And the description is that left ventricular gene expression profiles from 12, 16 and 20 months old uh, rats were compared with left ventricular profiles seen in ACE masked, masked Worcester Kyoto rats by screening ephemetric arrays. You can see uh, that who contributed for this experiment, when was this submitted, and who is the contact person. So then you scroll down and go to the Analyze GEO2R. Here you want to perform online analysis. Therefore, you are going to do uh, click on Analyze with GEO2R. Just click on here. After that, you need you will see something like this window will pop up. You can see here these are the accession numbers, these are the title here, and this is the source name here. You can see this SHR group is here, and if you scroll down further, you will also see WKY group. So, so basically WKY samples, SSR samples, and sorry, and WKY samples. So what I'm going to do is that for the purpose of demonstration, I'm going to define groups. It's totally up to you, however you want to define. So I'll make two groups. Group I'm going to call group one is as, as SSR, and then I'm going to call group two as WKY, and then I'm going to hit enter. So for the SHR group, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select on all the SSR samples. So, okay, I'm just going to select all of these. After selecting, then I will hit here. Then these samples will be incorporated into this particular group. I'm going to scroll down further. And I will also include these two SHR group into the SHR samples into the SHR group. Okay. So then for I'm going to scroll down and I, I see that there are WKI samples. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to include all WKY samples into WKY group. I'll check if there are anything left. Yes, I see three more samples left. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to select these also and then I'm going to hit here. Okay. So now I have selected the group. So then define the group. Now I have defined the group. Then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to go, go down and I'm going to click on analyze. Okay. I'm going to click here, analyze. And after clicking that, it will take some time for the processing. And soon we will see the graphs popping up. You now see that different types of graphs have popped up. So I'm going to click on each of those and describe what do they mean. This graph is called Volcano Plot and you can see that blue refers to the down regulation and red ref refers to the up regulation. This means that the number of genes that were down regulated were represented by blue color and that were up regulated were represented by red color and those that were neither down regulated nor up regulated they, were, they are actually appearing here as black ones. So you can see that there are many genes that are upregulated and there are many genes that are downregulated between these two groups, SHR versus WKY group. If you want to look at and explore further in each of these dots, then what you can do is that you can just click on explore and download. When you do that, this kind of window will pop up. And if you click on this dot, it will show which gene has been shown here. If you click here, it will show which gene has been shown here. If you click on this dot, let's say 
it shows that the gene shown here is SPOCK2. If you click here, it shows that gene shown here is enolase 1 and so on. So then I'm going to close this window. I'm going to also close this window. Then I'm going to click on another graph. This graph is called mean difference plot. Again, here also down-regulated genes have been shown with the blue dots, whereas up-regulated genes have been shown with the red dots between these two groups. You can see there is a nice number of genes that were differentially regulated between SHR versus WKY groups. Again, if you want to explore further, you need to click here and you can click on the dots. For example, you click here, you, you see which gene is here, RT1BB. You click here, you just move your cursor here, then you see that gene symbol here is KCTD13. For the blue ones also, the gene here is ATP1A2. Sim you know, you can explore each and every different genes by moving your cursor around and exploring further. Okay? So now, I'm going to close this window. And I'm also going to close this window too. Here in this graph, UMAP plot has been shown. You can see that the bubbles appearing here, they represent SHR group. Whereas bubbles down here, they represent WKY group. So this graph here shows the Venn diagram. And this graph here shows the bar plots, box plot, sorry, box plot and so on. So, if you scroll down further, and you can see that the what is the p-value between these two groups and the, the, the name of the differentially regulated gene. You can see the p-value is really low here, you know, in this order, it has been shown. I think the list here goes up to uh, 250 genes, but you can check and decide yourself, right? So if you want to make some changes or if you want to look at particular gene, then what you can do is either you can click on this table. For example, if I want to look at the details of Acta1 gene, so what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to click here. And it will show me this kind of graph. If I go up, you can see that this Acta1 gene is highly expressed in SHR group compared to the WKY group. Okay. So similarly, you can do the similar analysis for another gene. Now I'm going to click on RNAs1. You can see that this RNAs1 gene is also highly expressed in SHR group compared to the WKY group and so on. So what else you can do? You can actually click on profile graph and just here enter the gene ID and then you can do the analysis. Okay. So you can also click on options and if you want to make some changes here, so you can select or deselect here also. For example, what I'm going to do is now is that I'm going to change the p-value from 0 0.05 to I want only the genes that are differentially expressed and the p-value should be 0 0.001. And I'm also going to change the lock to fold threshold. I'm going to make it like 2, not 0. Okay. So, then what I'm going to do, then I'm just going to click on reanalyze. And now new graphs will pop up and these new graphs will appear slightly different than what we had before. You can see that now the graphs completely changed. Even the color has changed. Now many genes are not crossing the threshold. You see the blue here is down-regulated ones and red here are up-regulated ones. So there are many of the, the genes are not crossing the threshold that we have provided. The out threshold is 0. Point, uh, P, uh, we change the p-value as well as we also change the lock, uh, lock two value. Okay, I'm just also going to click on this mean difference plot. You see only few genes are uh, up-regulated and uh, only few genes are down-regulated. Most of the genes did not change because we changed the parameters log two parameters. Okay. So this is how you can also reanalyze the data. You can change the p-value, you can change the log two value, and you can set the strict criteria for your analysis. If you want to look at 
the R script for the last analysis that we performed, you just can click here. And this here, this here is the R script. If you want to save it, you can also save this uh, file. I hope in this video, I was able to show how to perform Zen expression profiling online using GEO2R tool. Thank you.